God has given you your unique personality, gifts, and talents to make an impact in this world for good. Welcome to Hope Today. I'm Anna, and I'm here with Sydney and with Tom. And Tom, we get to talk about Arlene, who is gifted in the kitchen. Wait a minute, we get to talk about food. I like, I like <laughs> food. I love food. I, you probably love food. Well, I love uh, Arlene Williams for many years. Uh, she had a program on here at home. The program is still on Cornerstone. And Joe Ligo, he's the online content coordinator for At Home, and he is going to be with us, and he is going to be sharing about the programs, about the recipes, how you can watch, how you can cook. It's going to be great because we all love food. We all love food, and you know, we all, if you're watching, you love Cornerstone, and we're really excited because coming up in just a moment, you don't want to miss, have a sweet woman that is here with her, us. Her name is Lene Davis. She's part of a Christian sorority, and you're going to hear how God has used Cornerstone to make an impact in her life and others, and also hear about the great work that her sorority is doing in Pittsburgh and beyond. So today, I'm just really excited just to talk about all of us coming together as a family. I feel like today it's like Cornerstone family time, you know, here on Hope Today. We're produced by Cornerstone Television Network. If you're watching, from Florida or Alabama or whatever you are, we are all part of the great family here. That, so we're so glad you're joining us today. That's important to, to remember. Uh, some of you just see Hope today and you may be wondering about at home. We're going to let you know how you can watch Arlene and can watch the wonderful recipes she cooks, even if you're in another area that doesn't carry all of Cornerstone's schedule. So that's going to be important. Right. And I mean, speaking of family, family is so important and God has placed us in a family as brothers and sisters in Christ. And it's very cool to just see how, depending on how your relationships are with your biological family, God has given us such gifts and such joy connecting with those in the body of Christ. And it's really through our gifts and talents when we're truly walking in that, that we can connect with each other and bless one another. And the conversations today, I just feel like will will highlight that. They truly Absolutely. will. I just think I'm just reminded of that song. It was it Sister Sledge? It says, we are family. Oh, so, <laughs> so you are our family. And you know, always, if you, even today, as you're like watching and you need us anytime, just to pray or just some encouragement, we're always here at our prayer line at 888-665-4483. That's right. Amen to that. We are family. And for 25 years, a member of our family, Arlene Williams, shared the, her love of God and good food with TV audiences around the country most famously on the cooking show At Home with Arlene Williams film right here at Cornerstone Network. She passed away in 2017, but Joe Ligo, a good friend of ours, is helping to keep her legacy alive by uploading classic At Home episodes and Arlene's recipes to a new website for people to enjoy. Let's check out this uh, fun montage of a few summertime clips with Arlene. Hello. Yes, yes, this is the zucchini fan. Oh, oh, hi, family. This is the zucchini. And honest, this does look like a phone, doesn't it? Look how big these babies are. Zucchini time, yeah. How many of you had left on your front porch during this whole summer season? Because <laughs> you know what? These babies love to grow. And you know, they're so good for you. They're so healthy. Today, we're talking tomatoes. Now, you say tomato, and I say tomato. You say potato, I say, no. The tomatoes are coming in by leaps and bounds, as they say. Well, the little tomato herself's over here to help me today. <laughs> she even wore red, you know. <laughs> I'm the more pink because I'm not quite ripe yet, but she's ripe. <laughs> I should ask this Italian lady if she likes tomatoes. Oh, we sure do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you couldn't have a meal in an Italian home without a yeah, tomato, right? especially homegrown. Oh, well, I told you today it's old casseroles from two old people. No, no, no. <laughs> good time. Always a good time when the family gets together and say hi to your fan club. Hi, fan club. <laughs> be sure to join us the next time because it just wouldn't be the same without you here at home. We'll see you then. Bye-bye. Thanks again. Thank you. Well, you say tomato, I say tomato, and Joe, it's great to have you join us on Hope Today. Are you going to answer that zucchini right there on your, is it ringing? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> you know, watching that, that montage, it's so funny. Um, yeah, you just see the, the zest Arlene had for life and, and all the different people that she had on the show and that she loved so much. It's, it's funny, you know, some of those episodes are 30 or 35 years old, and you still feel the love. Uh, when you watch them and you feel how much she loved, you know, doing what she did. You know, Joe, um, that's, 
it's, it's one of our most popular programs, still is, hasn't been in production for a few years now, but we've got 400 episodes and uh, you're in the process because, uh, again, I think it is Arlene's ability to be everybody's uh, grandma, everybody's mom, everybody's uh, aunt, you know, big sister. She just communicated the love of God that way, didn't she? Oh, absolutely. It's funny. Uh, you know, I have a bunch of the episodes here with me and I'm editing them and getting them on YouTube and stuff. And it's funny, sometimes I'll catch myself sitting there listening to her instead of working, you know, because it'll be a really good episode. It'll show, she'll say something. It's funny, something she said, you know, 20 years ago to a camera, God is using that today to affect people. You know, it's, it's been saved on tape for however many decades. And some days it's just the thing I need to hear when I'm watching the show or putting the, the clips online. You know, she'll say something about fear or about hope or about healing or about faith. And, uh, you know, it's funny how she managed to sneak that in between the recipes. Right. And, uh, yeah, some days it's exactly the thing you need to hear. Uh, yeah, I mean, again, it's a, it's a Christian show. It's about food, but it's about the Lord as well. And uh, you're doing an incredible service uh, to put these up online, including the recipes, because every time, I mean, we play the, the program here, basically every day it's on seven times a week and you are people will call and they want the recipes you're going to be able to they're going to be able to get those at the website so tell me what you're doing and tell me how people can watch at home sure absolutely so of course at home still airs on cornerstone network you know weekdays at three and then it has a couple airings on the weekends as well but, you know, if that's not enough, uh, you can watch online anytime. We have a new YouTube channel. It's uh, youtube.com. Uh, I can give you the full URL. Just search At Home with Arlene Williams and you'll find it. And, yeah, we have over 100 episodes on YouTube. Uh, we're adding new episodes each week. And they're the full episode, the full half hour. You can watch the whole thing. And we also have the recipes available, too. Uh, you'll see there's a link in the description of the YouTube video, or you can go to ctvn.org slash at home. And every time an episode goes up on YouTube, we also put the recipes on the website. And the recipes are completely free. There's no subscription. There's no mailing. There's no postage. They're just right there on the computer. You can print them off. You can share them with friends. And, uh, you know, that's something we're really happy to be able to do because, you know, these recipes mean a lot to people. I, I, I run the at home Facebook page and I have people message me saying, do you have the recipe from this show she did in 1994? And, you know, sometimes I have it. Sometimes I, we're still looking through 20 years of shows. So it can take a little while to find a, a specific recipe. But, you know, we try to do our best to, to put everything on the website. So, Joe, you had the privilege of working here at Cornerstone Television years ago with Arlene. So what was it about her style that just gave you such an affection for her and for her show? Yeah, I think um, I didn't really realize it until after she passed away, which is kind of sad. I wish there's so many more things I wish I could have talked to her about when she was still around. Uh, but Arlene really loved to make people feel welcome with food. And she always made a point of, you know, anytime she had a party, you know, she did a lot of episodes about having people over for parties, you know, Christmas and 4th of July and that kind of thing. And she really wanted to make people feel welcome. And, you know, she was, she would always say, well, make sure you have some of this, but if people can't eat that, well then make sure you have a veggie tray or make sure you have fresh fruit or, you know, well, if people can't have that because it's too spicy, make make them, you know, if you're doing chicken wings, make some that are spicy, make some that aren't spicy so then people can have that. And it was always just so considerate. And there's one episode from a long time ago. She has a notebook. And every time she had people over for dinner, she would take notes on what she made, what people liked, what people didn't like, what dishes she used and what colors the so you know, the napkins and the, the tablecloth were. And she kept track of all that stuff because she wanted people to feel welcome. So if somebody said, I really love that cheesecake you made, she would write that down and remember it the next time that person came over. Joe, I, I love your reminiscences of uh, Arlene. 
Tell me, I think you're cooking right now, aren't you? We're in your kitchen there. What have you got cooking? Yeah, so, so our big thing for July is we are doing tomato Tuesdays and zucchini Thursdays. And so I've been cooking up some tomato stuff. This is one of Arlene's recipes. This is, it's called uh, to Easy Tomato and Corn Skillet. And so this is a skillet meal. You can, you can add chicken to it if you want. You can eat it for breakfast like I'm going to do. I put a fried egg on top there. So I'm going to be having some later. You can serve it over rice. And it's an easy way to use up you know, summertime vegetables, corn and tomatoes. If you have a garden, you know what it's like to have too many tomatoes. So that's a real easy one. It's just tomatoes, onions, corn, you know, garlic, a little bit of olive oil. And then, of course, since it's zucchini, everybody knows if you have zucchini, you have too much zucchini. So this was an Arlene recipe. This is sausage stuffed zucchini. Mm. And so that is melted cheese on top oh. with some hot Italian sausage. Uh, you know, a little bit of cheese and Parmesan, and then you just put it in half of a zucchini like that. It's the easiest thing in the world. So both of those recipes are available for free on the website. You can go to ctvn.org slash at home. Both of them are there right now. And if you tune in to at home today, you'll see it's a Tuesday. So we've got more tomato recipes as well. We'll be posting there. So definitely, definitely cool stuff you want to check out and easy stuff too. stuff that, uh, you know, anybody can make and enjoy. Well, I know you're like four hours away from me, but hold on to that zucchini, uh, that uh, sausage stuffed zucchini. I'll be right over <laughs> after the show. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's all delicious stuff. Arlene's recipes are, you know, they're they're tested by Arlene, so they got to be good, right? Absolutely. Well, Joe, thank you so much. Tell us real quick again how how someone can watch the show. Sure. So you can check us out on YouTube. Just search At Home with Arlene Williams on YouTube. We've got new episodes going up each week. And of course, uh, you can follow us on Facebook. Just look for At Home with Arlene Williams. We post all our updates there. And then the recipes can be found at ctvn.org slash at home. And so you can search if there's a particular recipe, you can search for it. And we're adding new ones all the time. So, uh, you know, be sure and check back for updates. Absolutely. Joe, thank you so much. This is a service to people everywhere. Thank you for, for doing that, Joe. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Well, I, I encourage you to take advantage of Arlene's programs. You won't be disappointed. Right now, let's go over to Sydney. Thanks, Tom. When you give to Cornerstone Television Network, your generosity brings hope today into the homes of many in the Pittsburgh area, across the country, and around the world. Your partnership provides us the ability to touch lives beyond the airways through our 24-7 prayer line. And for one Pittsburgh woman who's a member of a Christian sorority, she says the prayer line brought her comfort after she suffered a devastating loss. And joining us now to share her story and how she is spreading it to other people is Lene Davis. We're Lene, we are so glad to have you with Hi, us today. Hi, Sydney. How are you? I'm doing really well. Oh my good. It's a pleasure to be here. Well, it's a pleasure to have you with us. And Lede, before we, I want to talk about in a minute about the Christian sorority and the impact that your organization mm -hmm. is making. But first, tell us about the impact Cornerstone specifically had on your life. Back in 2005, I lost my father. I was devastated, Sydney. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, I didn't want to live. And I could not even pick my Bible up to read, and I was turning the TV channel, and Cornerstone came on. And I'm watching it, and I'm crying, and the prayer line came on, and I called. And I still remember her voice, Beverly. Mm -hmm. She prayed for me, and even after our prayer, we continued to talk. And we became friends after that. And I to this day, thank Cornerstone that helped me in my life. And I don't know what I would have done if Cornerstone was not on TV at that time. And I happened to go to the store a couple months ago and the cashier, she was crying so bad. And she walked past me, she had a box. She says, I can't do this, I can't do this. I don't want to live. I'm, I'm going to kill myself. And I'm thinking, did I hear that or did she say that? And when she walked past me again, I said, excuse me, can I talk with you for a second? She never said yes. She never said no. She stopped. And I grabbed her hands. I says, I want to pray with you. We prayed and she just hugged me and cried and she was falling to the ground. And I'm thinking, Lord, what should I do? And I heard God said, 
quiet. Mm -hmm. And I'm rocking her and I'm still praying in her ear. And I said, what's your name? She told me. I says, do you have a Bible? And she goes, no, I don't. I says, when you go home, turn on Cornerstone. Mm -hmm. Cornerstone was there for me in 2015. And I know you will be tremendously blessed and your heart will be covered by Cornerstone. And this neighborhood store is near my house. I'm always in there. And I walked in and she almost knocked me over. And she says, thank you. You saved me. And I says, no, God saved you. And she says, I call Cornerstone. She does pledges now. She's in a church. She's on the uh, ministry team at her church. And Cornerstone is a coverage to our hearts, you know. And I'm so glad I was there for her. And every time I see her, she goes, you saved me. I go, no, if it wasn't for God, and if it wasn't for Cornerstone. And she asked me, well, why did you pray for me? Why did you stop me? I said, because you're my sister. You're my sister. That's why. Lene, just hearing that just really warms our heart. And you know, that's mm -hmm. the whole reason why we exist here at Cornerstone is to be able to be hope in the midst of darkness. I just wanna say thank you for just that's even, so just sharing this testimony, being open and willing to share it and to even speaking into her heart because we know there's so many people that even right now, that if you are watching and you're listening yes. and you just feel like you are at the end of your rope that you know, you can call us at any time. And it is because of your faithful support that we are able to have the prayer Line. We're able to have shows like Hope Today and like what you just saw at At Home with Arlene Williams, like all these shows, it's because of your faithful partnership. And so, Lene, thank you so much you're for just welcome. for just sharing that. You're and, more than welcome. and we see you're, you're in your attire with your, your Christian sorority. So tell yes. us a little bit about your sorority. We are Christian Sorority in Pittsburgh. We're Alpha Iota Alpha Christian Sorority Incorporated. We are non-denomination. We're non-collegiate sorority, sister. Yeah. We have other colonial chapters in other states. And our sorority, AIA, we felt we focus on, excuse me, sisterhood, fellowship, and service. Yeah. And that's why I stopped the young lady in the store, because she's my sister. Yeah. And that's that sisterhood, that bond I wanted to show. Yeah. And I tell you, I'm trem tremendously blessed, and I'm, yeah. I thank my CEO, I'm Tiffany Chamberless, which is visionary, yeah. you, know, by, uh, you know, getting an organization together. It's a tremendous blessing. Yeah. We have some pictures that we want to show you that are going to be here on the screen and you see them right there of just like the work that you do. So tell us some of the things that you do within the community to spread the love of Christ. Volunteering is in our DNA. Mm -hmm. We volunteer in the city of Pittsburgh. We help children. We uh, donate. We're having um, a car wash um, next week and we're raising money for children back to school. We get free haircuts, um, clothing, uh, books, uh, school supplies for children. Um, we go in a community and let the community know you know, we're here. We meet people all over. And every time I walk out my house, I'm gonna have my a sorority apparel on to let them know I am a sister. I'm here for everyone to help anyone that I can. I think it's so beautiful the work that you all are doing, just going out and showing people the love of Christ because it is so needed. And you mentioned that there's a car wash that's coming up, so you can give us yes. details about that car wash because it helps children that yes. are in need. We're having a car wash. It's next weekend. It's at Advance Auto in East Liberty. And please, if you don't have a car, you can bring your bike, you can walk up and do a donation, and also, you can receive prayer. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not even about like the money part yeah. of our car wash. We want to let everyone know our surrounding Christ. You know, the love of Christ that we share. 
I love that so much. Mm -hmm. It's just being the hands and feet of Jesus. That's yes. what you all, you beautiful women are doing. And on yes. your, your the tag, it says steadfast. So can yes. you just share, your, yes. so you're called steadfast in your yes. sorority line. So tell us, what does that mean yes. and how you got that? My line name is steadfast. Yeah. And I'm the ace <laughs> of answer prayer. Answer prayer is the line that I cross. And my name is steadfast. When she met me and my uh, big sister visionary, she prays. When we uh, join the sorority, she prays and God gives her that vision of what our name is. My name is Steadfast. I'm Steadfast on the Lord. Mm. Um, in my walk, I'm going to mention the Lord. And that's how I got the name Steadfast. And Lene, we just mm -hmm. have like, a, like 30 seconds left. So what would you say today to encourage someone how to remain steadfast in Christ today? No matter what you're going through, God has the first and last say so. Give it to him. Yeah. He, he will never leave you. Never leave you. I don't care how bad it is. Stay on your knees if you cannot pray. Just say Jesus. Mm. And that would help you. Mm, I love that so much, mm -hmm. Lynette. Thank you so much for just thank sharing you, your testimony Sydney. and your story. And thank, thank you, you for your organization, your sorority that is being the hands and feet of Jesus. Yes. We so yes. appreciate you. And thank you for spreading the yes. word about Cornerstone that really touches yes. and warms our yes. hearts. So thank you so much for joining us yes, today. Yes, absolutely. I love Cornerstone. Mm. Yes. You love us. Well, we love you too. And oh. we love you. And we don't want you to go anywhere because when we come back, we're just going to take a moment to speak and uplift your spirit. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Remember your childhood joy and excitement when being invited to a party? You felt valued, included, wanted, and ready to have a good time. Best-selling author Bob Goff believes that every day of life can be lived with the same childlike enthusiasm and sense of humor. Inside Love Does, you'll learn that love is a verb, not just a feeling. His insights and joyful reflections will help you discover what it means to live fully alive, even as you serve others. Prepare to encounter remarkable stories from Bob Goff's life as he shares how living and loving to the fullest is the best way to make Jesus known in this world. Request your copy of Love Does when you give your best gift this month. Your gift today will help Cornerstone Television show the life-changing love of Jesus through Christ-centered TV programs. Call us at 888-665-4483 or give at ctvn.org slash donate. Well, welcome back to Hope Today. We hope that you have been enjoying the conversations that have gone throughout this program. And you know, that book that was just promoted as our gift of the month, Love Does, is perfect for this conversation because our lives are to be about love, sharing the love of Jesus through what he has put inside of us. So we saw Arlene loves people through food, through inviting people into her space to love on them. We see that Joe is using his technical abilities to put things up on the website and on social media. And Lene is praying with somebody in the grocery store who's ready to take her life and serving others in the community. Ask yourself today, what has God put inside of you that somebody else needs today? Guys, there's just so many ways to be the light of Jesus in the world around us. I absolutely us. love the normal everyday life-ness of what Arlene did, what Lene does. It's just the things of um, everyday life that, that God works in us. You know, praise God for pastors and teachers and people that are uh, you know, theologians and all that, but it's you and me, just the people that are going to be in the supermarket, just the people that are going to be serving a meal, that are going to make a difference. They're, we're the ones that are going to be bumping into people all day long. You're the one that's going to bring that love of God. God's going to use you today. Have your, uh, as we used to say, have your antennas up, have your eyes open as to what God wants to do through you today. You know, I love we're having this conversation about love and what we're called to do. And it reminds me of like one of my favorite words. I like love studying the Hebrew. It's called, the Hebrew word for love is ahava. And it simply means to give. And we think about the love that God showed when he gave his son, Jesus. We are called 
to give. That's what love looks like. And so as Anna and Tom were sharing, and we just encourage you today as we are, you know, rounding out this show and this program today, is what can you do in your community? What can you do in your home? What is the small step that you can do to serve someone, to love someone, to be there for someone? You know, one thing I think it is so important in our busyness, in our lives, and so many things are going on. We see what's going on our calendars. We get alerts, all these things. But the gospel is not about the calendars and all these to-do lists. It's about being sensitive to the Holy Spirit and allowing ourselves to be interrupted. Are you allowing yourself to be interrupted? Are you allowing yourself when you get that nudging in your spirit to pray for that person that's at the grocery line? Are you getting that nudge in your spirit and being obedient when you see someone on the street or someone that's walking or homeless? Whatever it may be, we just encourage you today to be sensitive to that nudging of the Holy Spirit and allowing your schedule to be interrupted, allowing yourself to say, you know what, I'm going to speak into someone's life. I'm going to love on someone. Maybe it's giving to someone in a special way. So just even today, just we encourage you to just listen to those nudges of the Spirit. They will always lead you into His love, into His light, and it's for the other person. Yes, it says in Ephesians that you are God's masterpiece created in Christ Jesus for good works that were created for you in advance. Did you know that before the world began, God knew you completely inside and out. He gave a purpose. He infused you with purpose and he infused you with his Holy Spirit. As you accept his son, Jesus, you get to enter into that new life to become that masterpiece that he made you to be. If you've never accepted Jesus, today is your day. We would love to pray with you, to listen to your story, to invite you in to be part of the family of God. We are here for you, 888-665-4483. There is so much light and goodness in you that this world needs. So today, come into the presence of God. Invite the Holy Spirit to show you who you are, no matter what's been in your past. You've got a bright future ahead because Jesus is in your future. And he's with you today. So enjoy you're the presence of God. Let him speak his love over you and empower you to go make a difference. Thank you so much for being with us on Hope Today. We pray that the conversations today inspired hope within you. Have a great one. On tomorrow's Hope Today, teaching kids important biblical truths through family fun adventures. Former NFL player and Dallas Cowboys chaplain Jonathan Evans shares about his new children's storybook that features fun-filled modern retellings of the parables of Jesus. Don't miss tomorrow's Hope Today. Cornerstone Television wishes to thank all our faithful viewers whose consistent prayers and financial support have made this program possible.